Epitaxial Growth Technique. Modern microchips, which are needed in several areas of our daily life, can't be produced if there won't be the epitaxial growth technique. This allows creating very small layers, which are used as isolation layers in transistors. These tiny layers allow producing very small transistors and increment the power of a chip. But not only in chips, in nearly every object that uses electronic semiconductors are tiny isolation layers needed, also in solar cells. How does this technique work? The original object which we want to overlay is called substrate. In this graphic a silicon crystal is shown. It's one of the most commonly used materials for the substrate. The crystal has a diamond cubic structure, but on the surface there are uncompleted molecular bounds. To build layers, other silicon molecules are carried near to the surface of the substrate. One molecule can bind to the surface by filling out the uncompleted molecular bounds. To achieve this bound, thermic energy is needed. That is the reason why the environment and the substrate itself have to be warmed up. But those new bounds are instable and could be dissolved easily. So it happens that new bounds are built instead of the old ones. The molecule migrates on the surface by this way. This procedure continues until the molecule builds a moderate stable bound with another molecule. This happens in the near of some other molecules, so that either one molecule of the substrate or the new molecule can reach a state where all bounds are complete. That's why new molecules to be taken up by so many other molecules as possible. Accordingly, a new layer is built circular outgoing from one starting point. This can happen several times on the surface, until the separate areas coalesce and build one new layer. It's possible to put more layers on top of each other. The maximum number of layers depends on the quality of the substrate. The result features very small layers, which are needed in nearly all semiconductor devices. In addition, this technique is also used by nanotechnologists and in many other areas. 